Well, we're here at Lake Argyle Tourist Park and it's pretty slick. Um, it's got uh, everything you need. Showers, toilets, dump spot, water, power, pool, pool restaurant. Live music. You can stay here for a month. A noisy lawnmower. Yeah, no, it's a, a chipper. chipper. And so they're doing some trees. But this is our site. Nice and shady. It is beautiful and shady. It's number one in the power section, apparently. Nice and flat, green. Got our new Weber. The other one was so dirty, we just didn't want to wash it anymore. So we uh, bought a new one in Kananara. It's pretty good. But uh, yeah, that's it. And we're not far from the infinity pool. So we'll take you over there and show you that. Just show you the infinity pool. Yeah. What are you doing? It's grass. <laughs> I love grass. I don't like dirt anymore. Well, this is an impressive body of water. The uh, the views from here are beautiful. There's the damn wall down there. And it just looks like it goes for miles and miles and miles in each direction. A bit like the Hume Weir up near Albury. So we're here at Discovery Parks in Kununurra, which is the one that's on the river, which is really, really nice, as you can see. Beautiful. Um, just a bit of a sunset happening at the moment. Uh, this is our site. They've got everything, showers, toilets, dump point. 
uh, powered sites, unpowered sites. Pretty neat park. The um, toilets and showers, really, really clean. They've got barbecues here on the forefront, on the, on the forefront, on the um, shore here. Uh, nice grassed areas. A lot of people sit outside and watch the sun go down, which is beautiful. And it's a good base for, um, for doing Wyndham. Uh, it's only an hour's drive up the road. You can do some gorges on the way up to Wyndham. Um, there's uh, the Ivanhoe Crossing, which is just out the road in Kununurra. Um, so we'll drone the hell out of that <laughs> um, and show you every point of the uh, Ivanhoe Crossing. Um, yeah, so it's a, just a really nice little town. Apparently there's a little croc just here at the... Uh... Oh wow! Look at all those fish! They're catfish. Yeah. They're the silver, whatever they... Oh, here he is! Oh, look at him! <laughs> How cool is he? He's so cool. Hello! Hello! Hello. How you doing? Yeah. Take a look at him. There was something moving here, wasn't there? Yeah. It was probably him. Probably. Oh, that's a little torch off. Look at wow. all the catfish. He's pretty with it. I wonder. Look at all the. I haven't seen the bloke. The fish only come out. Oh my god, he's amazing. Look at his teeth. Yeah. I want him. <laughs> what? I want him. You want him? I want to take him home. Jeez. We'll say something. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> he's trying to work out how to get up the bank. That's yeah. what he's trying yeah. to do. Well, we're here in Katanara and we've just come out for the day. We've just uh, come out to Ivano Crossing, the iconic Ivano Crossing, to drone the hell out of it and uh, get the left, the up, the this, the that, every different position. There's a few beautiful pelicans out here which uh, someone's really really happy about she loves pelicans and uh, photographed the hell out of them um, and uh, you know where there's there's plenty to do around here um, you can do days to Lake Argyle we stayed out there but um, you can actually do a day trip out there um, helicopter rides boat boat trips on the uh, on the river and uh, dam and um, now we're just going to head up to Wyndham to have a look around up there. There's apparently a beautiful uh, Five Rivers lookout and a few other things we want to see up there. So we'll, uh, <coughs> we'll show you all that. Come with us. things here and I'll just show you because the view is unbelievable there's a viewing platform but it's massive
there's the port down there and it goes out into this uh, flattened area plateau but then all the um, all the ridges that move up out of that and the river just follows it down there there must be five tributaries coming into it somewhere along the line but how about this view it's amazing Drone up and show you. just come down to have a look at the largest Boab in captivity <laughs> <laughs> and it's in the Wyndham Caravan Park so you have to park outside and just go for a quick walk so we're going for a quick walk it's only about a hundred meters in yeah. the back and uh, we'll show you around the tree it's a stonker have all this So last but not least, there's a um, big crocodile. <laughs> right at the start of the town. Just out of Wyndham, on the way back to <coughs> Kananara, is the grotto. Apparently it's not that, um, it's uh, fresh water so it's dried up a bit but we'll go and have a look anyway and show you. So this is it, the grotto and it's 100 metres deep, 144 steps down, is that what it says? I think so. Okay. You can see it. So that was the grotto. Uh, it's only a short walk in, about three, four hundred metres, on stones and rocks, and that's about it. So it's pretty easy. Well, that's to the top. 
Yeah, to the top, to sorry. To the top. Then there's 100 and, oh, 100 other steps down. We didn't do the down. No, we didn't do the down. <laughs> but if you just want to look at it, it's nice. And um, it's, there's a water hole down there. And, um, I, well, um, Wiki said, people on Wiki said it was uh, stagnant and green and everything else. And there's people swimming in at the moment. So it doesn't look stagnant. doesn't look stagnant. Um, and there's a rope swing down there. Which is pretty cool for the kids if you want to take your kids. So there you go. That is what was it called? The Grotto. The grotto. So that's the end of WA for us. Where are we? Northern Territory. The Northern Territory border. Look at that. Whoa. Woohoo. So, thanks WA. You've been really, really wonderful. You have. We love WA. Oh, yeah. So we'll do a full wrap up of WA. Yes. Um, and let you know all the ins and outs and all the dot points. All the likes and yeah. everything that we did. And yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll get to that. So here we go into the Northern Territory. So the first stop is uh, Timber Creek, just after Timber Creek, it's uh, Victoria Roadhouse, and then on to Darwin the day after that. So uh, bring it on. Bring it on. WA. Uh, we had a great time. Um, fantastic stay today. Eh? Beautiful beaches, beautiful everything. Yep. Um, we yeah. really enjoyed WA. Yeah. Mind it's you, we've really enjoyed every part of Australia so far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but WA being so big, um, it did take us uh, nearly four months to get through it. Yes. And I'm sure we've only probably touched on 10% of it. Yeah, yeah. But it has everything, you know, the Pilbara, the beaches, um, the, the top end, yeah, everything. It's, it's just unbelievable. Really, is beautiful. So we did a total of 114 days. Um, in that 114 days, we stayed at six free camps, 14 caravan parks, six station stays, nine low cost, and five national parks. So we have to refer to our notes because it's too much to remember. Yeah. We get it off our budget. Yeah, yeah. But anyway. So uh, that's uh, that was from like the first of April to uh, what nearly the end of July. Yeah. Um, in that time, we did a total of fifteen thousand three hundred and twenty-four kilometres. Fifteen thousand. <laughs> no, that's a lot of kilometres. That is a lot of kilometres. Um, now the breakdown of our costs. Again, it's only our costs yeah you know everyone does their lap different um we did a lot of things we wanted to make sure we didn't miss out on yes so this budget or this cost will include all of that our fuel was 8350 our accommodation so all the the caravan parks the stays wherever are 4764 uh, servicing which is not just things that we had to have done on the car um, but it was this includes the cost of repairing the caravan after the gib um, which was a, f a bathroom door a hot water service <laughs> and, and, a a microwave. and a microwave so the and my labor no you're free <laughs> anyway. so the servicing including all of that plus the car servicing itself was 4632 yeah that was including doing the bearings at the end as well. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of anything that to keep the car running. Yes. Yeah. Running good. Um, eating out three thousand one hundred and seventy. She loves eating out. Ouch. <laughs> and the groceries were four thousand four hundred and forty-six, which included alcohol. Yes. We and drink a lot. <laughs> well, you do. Every day. Uh, the entertainment was five thousand nine hundred and thirty-three. 
It did include three helicopter rides, which was the Mitchell Falls, Bungle Bungles, and Al Questro Station. Mm -hmm. It also included our whale shark tour. Which was nearly $1,000 by itself. Yep. So that is quite high, but again, we tried to do everything that we wanted to in WA. We're not getting any younger. No. So we want to do it this time around. <laughs> well, we so can. if we ever come back, we don't need to if we don't want to. That's right. So total, just in WA, for 114 days, was $31,297. I'm going to go and get a job. <laughs> I think we need to come out of retirement. So we sort of blew the budget. Just a little. Totally. <laughs> totally, totally. Uh, so we sort of looked back over our um, entire trip so far mm. and uh, in total from when we left home uh, and did Tasmania first and South Australia and WA, we've done a total of 28,264 kilometres. The total sp <laughs> spend for those three states is 46,478. Wow. Ouch. And that's a total. You didn't of, tell me that. <laughs> that's a total of two hundred and one days. So the calculations that we worked out that it's costing us at the moment per day is two hundred and thirty-one dollars per day. My God. Which works out to a dollar sixty-four per kilometre. So I think before we left for the lap, we did a lot of research on how much it actually really costs to do the lap or to give us a an idea. And basically, it boiled down to about dollar, a dollar, dollar a, a dollar a kilometre. Yep. So we're a little bit over that. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've spent we've spent what was supposed to be the budget yeah, already. Already. And we've still got Queensland, New South Wales, and, and Victoria Northern Territory, and Northern Territory. Oh, then Northern. That's right. Yeah, Northern Territory. So, anyway, we've had fun doing it. Oh. And as I said, it's, it's more what we spent. We're not saying that's what it would cost to do that part. Um, there's a lot of things, I suppose, that you could cut out of that, but yeah. um, that's just... We don't compromise. No, that's just our breakdown. That's so, our breakdown. ouch, ouch, and ouch. <laughs> Once in a lifetime. Sorry, yes, kids, yes. there goes your inheritance. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so our favorite parts of WA, um, our favourite beach, I think we both agreed on this Wiley one. Bay. Wiley Bay in Esperance yes. is just amazing, absolutely yeah. incredible. That's I, could, I could have stayed, I could have lived there. Yeah, we could have parked the, the van on the beach there and just stayed. Yep. Um, it really is to be seen. It's just, mm. that, that's, if you go back to our video, our episode that we did on Lucky Bay. Yes. Um, it's got Wiley in there and it really is just amazing yep. um, our favorite camp we sort of had two yes uh, again Lucky Bay was one of them down in Esperance yep and the other one was Osprey, Osprey. Bay um, which was up sort of Ningaloo. the Ningaloo Reef um, again just absolutely incredible yeah that whole area up there is amazing yeah. around Osprey Bay but yeah yeah it was uh, the color of the water just oh. the campground is set out beautifully mm. um, there's not much really other than toilets and there's no showers, I don't think either, is no. there? Just just toilets, no yep. water or anything, but it just is a beautiful place. Mm. Uh, our favourite tour? Whale sharks. Definitely whale sharks. Yep. If you can do the whale shark tour, um, make sure you put that on your list yep. when the season's right, because it's uh, amazing. I, th I think there was a statistic that only 4% of the population has ever done swimming with That's the whale right, sharks. in the world. In the world, yeah. yeah. So yep. we're one of now 4%. So, that's it. Yep. Um, our favourite gorge, and we've seen many. Yes. Many, many. Yes. Um, and that's a really hard one because it really is. Some are easier to get to, some are nicer to swim in than others. So, um, like for example, Bell's Gorge is beautiful to look at, but freezing cold. Mm. Um, but these these are only the ones we've seen. So, yeah. you know, like there's there's a million others, and uh, we haven't seen them all. But this is our favourite. This is our favourite. So yeah. our favourite, which was. A toss up. Yep. Uh, Galvin's Gorge. Yeah. Great and, for swimming. And Zed Bend at Calberry. Oh. Zed Bend's truly amazing to yeah. see from above and and the walk down into yeah. it. It really was. Um, favorite place overall in WA? Mitchell, Mitchell Falls. Falls. 
Mitchell Falls yeah. wins hands down. Uh, oh. As a as a visual, yes. as as a hike, everything. It's, yeah, it's it got was it all. beautiful. It, it's just mm. yeah, mind blowing. Yes, mm. uh, the worst road. Z <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bungle Bungles slash Gibb River Road. Yeah, I think they're on an even par. Yeah. They were as bad as each other. Yeah. Uh, Bungle Bungles not being as long as the Gibb. It's only 54 k's or something of it, but still really bad. Yeah. And yeah, the Gibb. Everyone knows the Gibb. So it's far. Bad road so far. Still there's Cape York and uh, the road to Hell's Gate to go. So, yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty much our wrap up of WA and we'd love to get back there again and do all the parts that we couldn't. Which Hor we will. Horizontal Falls was a disappointment because yeah. there'd been the accident and we couldn't get to do that and I'm sure that would probably be right up there with Mitchell Falls. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, 100%. But we yeah. will get back to you on that one. Yep. Stay tuned so in, whenever we decide to go back to WA that will be on our list. For sure. Yes. Uh, Karajini is another one that we didn't get to see all of because of the weather. Um, so we will go back there at some stage. Yep. But we uh, would like to thank WA. And, oh, very much. Um, everything else was pretty good. All yeah. the rest of the roads were great. Mm -hmm. um, the fuel, like everywhere in Australia, <laughs> is expensive. Very. <laughs> So also the um, you would have watched the damages we did on the the gib the damage we did to our van. Yeah. Uh, the cost of that was just over three thousand dollars. And my labour is on top of that too. You're free. Free. Still free. I won't tell you again. You're free. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not being paid. So that's included in all those costs. And uh, but we were prepared to sort of do the gib knowing that we'd have uh, damage. Yeah. So we'll take that one and and up and onwards. Yeah. So that brings us to the end of this episode, plus the end of WA. Yes. And we're excited about what's in store for us in the Northern Territory. Yeah. Keep keep tuned. Yeah. It's a wonderful place, the Northern Territory. Yeah. Stay tuned. Yep. We've got some good stuff coming up. Yeah. And we'd like to thank you again for watching. And, and like and subscribe, and then you won't miss anything. See you next week. Hooray. Hooray.